Hi everybody, it's Lauren Brown, also known as Raggedy Royal on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and now YouTube. And today we're gonna be doing this matte chocolate brown look, brown smoky eye, all of the sorts. Interestingly enough, I was not going to film a YouTube tutorial on this, but I've posted my short, I posted on TikTok, I posted on Instagram, I posted as a short on here, a video on how I do my filming in a day. And this is one of the looks that I did in that day. And everybody was like, whoa, what about that one? What about that one? So we're here. And I'm very excited to uh, get into this tutorial. If you are new here, please consider, you know, I'll let you, I'll let you try before you buy. You know what I mean? I'm not going to say subscribe now, but just along the way, you learn something, you enjoy something. You just want to support me you can subscribe down below and give this video a like and yeah that's all for me let's get right into the video all right first of all i have concealer on the eyes i'm not using my abh white eye primer that i always use for a light light color eyeshadow rainbow colorful color eyeshadow looks why because today we're using browns and nudes so i get a little bit more leeway and i can use a concealer that's a little bit lighter than my skin tone or the same color as my skin tone next my face is not done i suggest doing this eyeshadow look before you do your face why because the browns is going to be dark it may fall out underneath your eyes then you have to wipe it off and do your base again or you're gonna have to like use powder and it's just easier if you do your face after your eyes today and yes next we're going to be using the about face beauty liquid lipstick in deja brew it is a lipstick y'all know i love to be resourceful i love to use all makeup things in different ways okay when they're labeled as lipstick eyeliner things like those are suggestions to me okay it's not illegal nobody's going to call the firing squad unless we're using a lipstick as eyes and that's how we're gonna get the perfect match for our lips later so i'm starting off with the liquid lipstick in deja brew and first i need to pat out this concealer because it has kind of creased a little bit and i want as smooth of a base as possible to start out with all right so i'm going to just add this to the eye i'm not being necessarily precise in any sort of way but i'm not going above the crease I'm not going above the crease just because that's gonna that's gonna create a bigger mess for us later. All right, so now I'm going to be taking this Morphe V one zero three. These are their vegan line that's engraved. I can never read the brush number V one zero three, or just a flat brush. Like I always say, you don't have to have the exact brush that I have or the exact eyeshadow that I have. Use something that is comparable. Now I'm just going to pat that out a little bit. Why am I patting that out a little bit? Because I don't want to too too much liquid going on here i don't want mounds of liquid that's just going to add mess also because we're going to blend this out we're going to add eyeshadows so this is almost like a base we're treating this like a base to the eyeshadows that are coming next and it's okay if we get in the crease a little bit because like i said we're going to blend Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to take this brush that I feel like is probably from Coastal Scents. I'm almost certain that I saw me use this in a tutorial yesterday. I watched a tutorial that I made when I was 15 years old, seven years ago. Almost certain this eyeshadow brush was in there. So I don't know, it, it doesn't have a name, but this is a dome shaped brush. And I'm just going to go along the crease and lightly blend it out. And I mean super lightly. I'm not necessarily trying to get a super blend here, as you can tell, because there's no other eyeshadow on here. But I just want to kind of buff out those edges. I want to buff out those edges and remove any harsh lines. I'm adding a little bit more to this outer corner just so that it matches the other eye. and blending out those harsh edges. We're gonna leave that dark shade alone for a second, start the blend from the brow down. So I'm gonna go into the ColourPop Gone Matte Palette, my current favorite when it comes to neutral eyeshadows. I'm gonna go into these light tan shades 
If this is your first video with me, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Consider subscribing. We're on the way to 50K. But if this is your first eyeshadow tutorial with me, I don't say the names of this palette, like the names of the shades, because I dropped them. Because I dropped them and they all came out of place. So I'm not exactly sure if they're where they're supposed to be. So I'm just going to go with the tan shade and my handy dandy BH Cosmetics brush. And I'm going to start on the outer corner and go all the way into the inner corner. Now, where is the outer corner? That's where you put winged liner, right? That's the tail of the brow. That's the outer corner of the eye. The inner corner is over here where the tear duct is. What I'm doing here is I'm blending this top section. This is gonna be our transition shade. A transition shade is the shade that will transition you from the darker shades at the lid up to, you know, the area near the brow, which usually has little to no eyeshadow. So, very important in terms of the blend. This is just a smidge darker than our concealer, than our skin tone, but it will make a big difference. I'm using circular motions. Circular motions. is blending along the crease. Okay, so next I'm gonna take this Morphe M441 and I'm going to go into some medium brown shades, right? So I'm gonna go into this darker cool tone brown here and this warmer medium brown here. And we basically have with the transition shade, one piece of bread with this lower shade here, one piece of bread. We're trying to fill in the sandwich now. So I'm gonna start on the inner corner and I'm gonna start making small circular motions. all the way across the lid. Now see all of this is gonna look a little crazy but that's because we're gonna add that dark brown on top. There's a, there's a texture issue here because we use that liquid lipstick but do not worry about that. Really worry about this blend up top. On the other side. Okay, now I'm gonna take this BH Cosmetics brush here and go in only with that warm medium brown and a little bit of those tan shades just to blend together really nicely that transition shade and that darker brown we just added. And now we basically have all the shades nice and placed. And you know what comes next, we're blending. So I'm gonna blend that transition shade. Just reinforcing all of the shades that we just added and blending them out. And I'll go from lightest to darkest here just because I know we've kind of been jumping back and forth, but that's because we used the liquid lipstick. So we had to start dark and then blend it out. Um, so I understand that this is not as like, usually I go from dark to light or light to dark, but I don't really jump back and forth too much. So. I can see how that may be confusing. So we're gonna go in order. So we just did the transition shade. Now we're gonna do that warm brown mixed with the tan. And then I'm gonna go in with our dark brown shades. That go in the crease. And then we blend from there. So this is where, you know, I'm trying to install Deal. My goal is to instill the confidence and agency for you to say, you know what? She didn't blend, you know, three more times like I did, but I know that I can see that it needs to be blended more. So you go ahead and blend. I may have to add a lot of dark brown. You're like, no, my dark brown is good, but I think I need to add a lot of light brown. The blending portion, you're never going to add a eyeshadow once, ever, never, never in your life. Never will you ever just add, even my one eyeshadow eyeshadow looks, I still don't add an eyeshadow one. So there's gonna be a lot of blending. So that's something that I think can bother or discourage beginners because they're like, I have to blend so much. Yeah, you should. And the more and more you do makeup, the more and more you realize that like, that is actually a sign of having knowledge of what you're doing. When you know, okay, I know this is not gonna be one take Drake because it shouldn't be. 
because you gotta blend everything out all right now let's get into these dark shades so i'm going to use this shade here this dark brown because i think that is pretty comparable to the brown that we have on the lid and i want to get it really close to my edge just a little bit let me touch that okay. this one here and i'm going to go in on that same v103 brush from before and i'm going to add this to the lid Oh Jesus, that is dark. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna blend a little bit of this brown here. This brown here. Because I feel like Deja Brew almost has like a purple undertone. Okay, there we go. That's a more, that's more brown. <laughs> so adding that to the lid. And I'm kind of just pressing because we're about to go ahead and blend in a second anyway. I had to go back to our reference picture. Fun fact, I do the shorts, the still photos, the thumbnails, the pictures in the short videos on one day and then the YouTube video on another day. One, because when I do the short videos, I kind of, I can remember from last time what I'm doing. Because I do a YouTube video without knowing what I was doing, then it would be harder for me to articulate the steps and, you know, make it very concise so everybody can follow. But sometimes I have to go back and I'm like, let me make sure I got this right. It's also my hair be different. But these days, I'm only just doing a slick back or a slick back, so not too different. Anyways, let's get back into it. I think that the brown is accurate. Now let's blend it out. So to blend it out, I'm going to take those dark browns and take a little bit of this right here. And one is cooler, one is warmer. And we're going to blend out this dark brown we're actually going to go more into that dark brown you need a dark shade to blend out a dark shade otherwise you will not really make a dent and i'm blending this into the crease i'm using my circular motions a little more brown on the lid because it's looking so super dark Okay, now I'm going to, this looks so dark. I'm going to go in with that Deja Brew. Let's see if we can fix this. I'll go with that Deja Brew. It's just a smidge I put on the back of my hand to disperse it. Cover up that super dark shade. to bring that brown back into the mix. Now I'm going back with that brown. And covering it up to mattify it. And blending it out with that brown. Okay, so for a second I was going to just restart the whole tutorial because I felt like my dark brown was too dark but I just decided to show y'all how I fix it if I felt like it was too dark instead of going all the way off and restarting the look so let me know down in the comments if you like when I leave like mistakes or how to fix mistakes in because I feel like one time I asked that and you're like leave them in so I'm leaving it in but yes there is that so now I'm just going in with those transition shades one more time and then I'm going in with that warmer brown 
just to warm it up and really get the brown look because sometimes the dark browns can look black especially if they are cool toned mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so now i'm satisfied with the blend now right now i just look like i got like a lot of brown in my eye but when i do the face you'll see how it balances out look okay remember what i was telling you about how there's gonna be a lot of fallout under the eye watch this watch this since we don't have the face already done all we have to do is wipe it on off and i'm gonna i'm gonna wipe it in the tear duct because the tear duct i don't like a dark tear duct i just do not like what it looks like on me but wait 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 wait. i'm also gonna wipe it to a little bit of it a little bit of an angle we're gonna reinforce that with concealer and such but See how easy that was instead of having to wipe off the entire face? Anyways, if you wanna know how to do your base makeup, don't worry, I have two tutorials for you. One how I do my dewy base and one how I do my matte base. I also have a blush 101, all the things that you'll need for this part of the face. Setting powder 101, setting spray 101. Check those videos out. But right now I'm gonna go do the base and we're gonna come back. See, this is what I mean by reinforce it with concealer. If you ever want your eyeshadow to have that like wing shape without putting on wing liner, you just make that little concealer boundary, boom, blend it out. That's it. Okay, the face is done. Let's start with the waterline. So I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Aqua Resist. There is powder all over my lip. Sorry, I felt like I was in like dry lip gel. Anyways, this is the Makeup Forever Aqua Resist color pencil in Ebony. And I'm just gonna go right into the waterline. If you wanna know how to apply things to the waterline nice and safely, what colors give you what effect, check out my waterline 101 video. But because this pencil is kind of small and kind of thin compared to my other pencils, I'm just gonna go right in the waterline. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A dark waterline really accentuates the eye color. And I have big beautiful brown eyes and i think that they look great with this dark brown eyeshadow look so we're taking it to the next level by adding a dark waterline a nice brown waterline to pull it all together now that that's done let's do the lower lash line so i'm going to be starting with my bh cosmetics brush and i'm going to go into my gone matte palette i'm going to go into those tan shades first i'm going to blend from light to dark on the bottom of the eye so i'm just using those tan shades with the light hand Blending underneath the eye. This will be a transition shade onto the bottom of the face. So instead of just having like one dark line of dark brown and then powder and blush is like, whoa. But this will kind of give it a little bit of a blend as much as you can have with such small real estate down there. I'm gonna take this BH Cosmetics, this is a Studio Pro 6 brush. I'm gonna go into those warmer shades. I'm gonna keep it nice and warm. I'm going to keep it nice and warm on the bottom of the eye, mostly because that will go really nicely with my orange blush that we have going on. It doesn't need to be so cool and dark on the bottom because that can translate to raccoon eyes very, very quickly. I was scared. I was scared for a second. I was scared for a second. It was, it was looking like a black smoky eye. We brought it. We brought it back. We brought it back okay thanks all right so now i'm going to be taking this v103 from before really the, the mvp of this video and i'm going to go into that brown shade and with the edge of this brush because this brush is fairly large with the edge of this brush i'm just going to go slightly underneath the waterline this is what's going to blend that dark brown waterline and kind of round out the edges there Connecting that to what's going on on the lower lash line. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now let's get into this lip. So I'm going to be using the JCat Beauty You Glow Girl Highlighter in shade Moon and Back. I'm just going to go in there with my finger and highlight my Cupid's bow to start us off. Fantastic. Now I'm going to go in with the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in shade 28. We're starting off with a black liquid lipstick as a lip liner because this brown is already dark and we need to create some dimension somehow so i'm going to line the lips i'm going outside the shape of my natural lips way outside the size of my natural lips to accentuate the shape So not too much overlining, don't do too much, but.
Gitu ya, Shaper. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the About Face Matte Painted Lip Color in Deja Bru. And I'm gonna fill in the lip. I'm going over that black. We see that the black gave it some dimension on the outside. The whole point of lip liner, some people use lip liner the same color as their, their lipstick just to like keep it on. I'm not really into lip liner for longer purposes. I'm into lip liner for dimension purposes. You will never ever in your life see me just use one lipstick, even for something like this. In fact, we still have another lipstick to go. That's because we're building the dimension. So the darkness around it, the shadows are gonna give you that shape. And then when we add something to the middle of the lip, a highlight, just like a highlight anywhere in your face, that's gonna draw attention to it. So you wanna draw attention to the center of the lip and use shadows in dark colors on the boundary, the perimeter of the lip to really accentuate the shape. That sounds like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I'm going to be taking that V103 and just kind of lightly tapping the black and the brown together just so that it's not so stark of a difference. We're really trying to get that ombre going. Just like any other my any of my other lip tutorials, I've done red, I've done hot pink, I've done vampy, I've done nude. Let me know if y'all want some more lip specific videos. Part of me is like, should I have made the lip video a separate video? But I think I'm gonna keep it together with see, you know. But just like all my lip videos, there's a lot of layers to this to really make it the lip of your dreams. Last thing I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a nude, so a light shade to go in the center of the lip. This is the ABH Satin Lipstick in Praline. I'm just adding a touch, just a touch, and then going back, and patting. Seam, seam, see what we done here? Also, here's a pro tip. If you really want to make it like a perfect, 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 perfect match with your eyeshadow, you can always just open up the eyeshadow, like I said before, about being resourceful. It's not illegal to use things for ways other than what they're suggested. Take some of that, that uh, eyeshadow and just go over that lip. That'll make sure that it's perfectly the same color. So yes, I'm gonna go add my lashes. We'll be right back and I'll show you the final look. Oh, if you wanna know how to apply lashes, I'm not leaving, once again, I got you. I have a how to apply top lashes and the most recent video I posted is how to apply bottom lashes. So whatever type of lashes you about to go put on, I got you. So go check those videos out. We're gonna come back for the final look. Okay, so the finishing touch, I'm gonna be using this ColourPop E28. It's like a little dome brush. I'm gonna go into this cream shadow here, just the lightest shadow in this palette. And I'm gonna do a, a dab, I mean a little dab into the inner corner. I've already kind of opened that up with concealer, but just a dab. Okay, so here is the final look. If you enjoyed this look, if you enjoyed this video, you learned anything along the way, you just like liking videos, I'm not judging. Go ahead and give this video a like down below. Make sure that you are subscribed. Just double check because sometimes it'd be... Mm. But just go ahead and double check. Thank you so much for 42,000 subscribers. I think we're like in the middle between 42,000 and 43,000. So like 42 and a half. We are getting close to 50,000. I'm very, 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 very excited about that. And so, so grateful. If you tried this look out and you want me to see it, tag me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, or just DM it to me. I love seeing recreations. It really warms my heart. Thanks so much for all the love on this look. I originally was not even going to make a tutorial on this look until I posted a video talking about how many looks I filmed in a day. And this is one of the looks that I filmed in that day. And everybody's like, but what about the matte chocolate one? What about the matte chocolate one? What about the matte chocolate one? And I was like, okay, cool.
cool so thank you so much for all the love and support on this look seeing it in other uh short form content if you would like to see more of my looks more of me check me out on youtube Check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, all at Raggedy Royal, the same way that it's spelled down below. All the products that I use are going to be linked throughout the video, and also you can find some of them down in the description bar below. And you can check me out on TikTok at Raggedy Royal to see more of my adventures. I have a Lawrence the Bucket List series where I try different foods, cuisines, activities, challenges, so many things. This time last year, I was literally wrapping up 75 Heart, which I also have a YouTube video on. Um, what have we done recently? Got a tan. We be cooking. I'll be running a lot of stuff. So go check me out on TikTok for that. And yes, that is all from me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, if you have any uh, videos that you want to see next, any ma specific makeup things, let me know down below. Let me know down below. See, like this one. I wasn't going to film this one, but you know, they asked for it. So let me know down below. Bye.